so much has happened. The doctor's here talking about putting me on TPN. Good morning, everybody. Well, so much has happened since I last talked to you guys. I'm sorry about that. So it is time to catch you guys up. So much has happened. So, well, one thing, I have switched rooms. This room is so much better. So this room is so much updated and this is the new part of the hospital. And Paul loves this room. When I got transferred to this room, he's like, oh, he's a very high tech kind of a guy. Like any guy, they go crazy for new stuff, new toys. So when I got in this room, he's like touching everything. So, and plus this room has a Disney view. Ooh. So I got to see the Disney fireworks. So let me show you a clip of that. There it is from my hospital room. You can see the Disney fireworks. I haven't been to Disney since Valentine's Day, but this is still great. I'm still happy for it. There goes Disney Magic Kingdom from my hospital room. I appreciate this so much. This puts a smile on my face. Yay! But anyway, so yesterday Paul had his Rumicade infusion and that turned out horrific. But Paul has a clip of him having his infusion. Let's show a clip of that. Hey everyone, how's it going? So, I got my Remicade done. I did not record anything because um, I was at the hospital overnight with Janice and my nurse texted me saying, hey, by the way, I'll be at your house in 10 minutes. And I was like, I totally forgot about it. I was just so worried and everything with Janice being in the hospital that I just completely forgot about it. So I was like, I'm on my way, I may be a little late came home and did everything. I didn't get to record anything or set up because, you know, soon she was here waiting for like 10 minutes. We just got everything done and ready. Um, did the medication, here talking to her, you know, working on the vlog a little bit for you guys. And that's pretty much what happened. Now, I am here, you know, she cleaned up most of the stuff. Just gotta get a few things, you know, not a big deal. And then I'm going to go back to the hospital to see how Janice is. Um, I had to leave her really early. Her mom's over there with her right now. But, um, I'll be going soon. So, let's go there. <laughs> but after his infusion, we think he had a bad reaction, because that can happen. But, once that happened, of course, I'm admitted. And he had to go to the ER. And I felt so bad. I kept in contact with him. And, uh, I just... And the ER is under me, so I wanted to just break out, um, like, break out of the hospital and just go to him and be like, are you okay? What's going on? I'm here for you. And I couldn't, and I felt so sick being here. I, I feel sick. I was just like, Ugh, I want to be with you so bad. <sighs> he didn't leave the ER till like four in the morning. He felt nauseous, throwing up like crazy. Once in the blue moon, Ramakade can kick his butt. And that's what happened. Hi guys, so this is what happened yesterday. I'm not feeling the best today, and this was from yesterday. Now, I was at home to get some medication, some stuff like that, and I wasn't feeling the best. Sore throat, headache a little bit, a little bit of nausea, but I was like, eh, shouldn't be, I'm not that bad. I'll, I'll just go to the hospital and sleep it off. And no, it, it, it really kicked me. I had to stop several times on the highway going to the hospital to vomit on the side of the road. And I was texting Janice, I was like, I have to go to the ER. Like, I'm, I'm, this is this is not happening. What do you think is this possible side effect of the Remicade? Yeah, because it was literally right after I did my Remicade is when I started feeling this way. So that's what we think it is. I have, you know, talk to my doctor, see what, you know, is the possibility, so on and so forth. I got to the ER and it was packed. There were 17 people there waiting and I was there and they were like noticing. <coughs> I kept getting up and going to the bathroom with little blue things that they give you and I kept vomiting and vomiting. They're like, yeah, we, you need to get seen a little bit faster. 
So they bumped me up a little bit into the into the list, but I still was there for two hours, suffering in the in the waiting room by myself because this one was up here, and obviously she she can't go down there. I was completely by myself. I was there from like ten until like midnight by myself waiting. Finally got me into a room. Um, explained to the nurses, to the doctors, hey, this is what's going on. This is why I think this is happening, so on and so forth. And they gave me some medication, some Zofran, which is what they usually give me. And it helped tremendously. But it, it took about two hours to get to that. You know what I mean? So it was a lot of suffering, a lot, a lot of suck. And uh, yeah, now today I'm feeling better. The only side effect that I get from Zofran is that I get a headache. So today my head is killing me. But I would much rather deal with a headache than nausea and profusely vomiting everywhere. So, that happened to me last night. And they're like, oh, why are you here by yourself? I was like, yeah, my wife's upstairs. They're like, oh, wow. Well, oh well. So, since being admitted, I've been having a lot of difficulties. So their biggest concern, of course, me being really dehydrated. My blood levels are showing dehydration, malnourished, vitamin level, vitamin deficiency, <laughs> <coughs> hard stick, poopy veins, like you guys say it. And of course, the doctors here are talking about putting me on TPN, but. My surgeon it, talked to his team the other day and they're just like, don't worry. Um, we're, my surgery, my port surgery was going to be for Thursday and they're like, we're going to admit you and um, we're going to have it for Tuesday now and just have you as comfortable as possible, giving you a lot of fluids, banana bags, because <sighs> one of them was like, you look really bad. I was like, thank you, thank you. And uh, my abdominal pain since coming here has been the worst. I got my heating pad here and they've been giving me medication to just make the pain as comfortable as possible but it's just i keep saying they ask me from one to ten i never like to go above seven and they keep asking me is it more than seven and i'm like i'm trying to make it only at a seven and they're just laughing when i tell them that and i'm having the hardest time eating my food and it's been really difficult these past couple of days and sadly they ask me how many times have you had diarrhea yesterday i went six times uh, so i know when the doctor comes in I'm pretty sure he's going to be a little bit concerned for that so let's see what happens today guys Hey guys, so I am back. Janice is there. This is going to be the informal tour of our hospital room. So we have our own private bathroom in here. Very nice. You know, nice bathroom, shower, counter, everything. Now, this is what I love about these new high tech rooms. These have these panels that you can literally turn on all of it. So let's say the shade. There it is. So, the light one is not working, but we can do the dark one. Oh wait, my Gatorade bottle. Wait, wait. Save the Gatorade. I love this, because then, from I mean, really, really bright in here, gets super dark. I love it. Now, obviously, we want to have light. <coughs> Look nice, now we're gonna do dark shade up. Oh. I love that. <laughs> so, you can turn on, there's a lot of lights in here. Another one, let's see, ambient light, which turns one on up there. So, it's basically, there's a lot of lights to make it seem really nice. There's the TV and everything. Let's see, TV shelf. Ah, 
So it's really nice, and I love this part. The counter, little bowl looking thing. It's awesome. I love this. I love this hotel slash hospital. And then there's the view of Disney from here, and I love it, the helicopter landing pad. So we get to see the helicopters land, which is pretty cool. So one of my lovely doctors came out. <laughs> And he is gonna give me something a little bit stronger for my abdominal pain. And let's see how that works out for me. So tomorrow is the day that I get my port. Let's see how that works for me. And at midnight tonight, I will have to stop eating and drinking, which I think I can handle today. I'm going to have a hard time eating anything, which is perfectly fine, of course. He even agrees. He's just like, just small meals throughout the day. He's looking at my food right now, and he's just like, yeah, small meals, small little bites. Do your best. I'm like, I'm trying so hard. I really am. Paul is taking it super chill. Hi. So... My surgery is going to be tomorrow. We still don't know what time it will be. I'll let you guys know. Paul will probably let you guys know. We'll take you guys step by step. And I know the biggest question is, Janice, are you nervous? Not yet. I'm the type of person, I am going to get nervous when I am getting reeled into the surgery room. Then you're going to see me get nervous. But usually when they're prepping me, you know, explaining to me how the surgery is going to be, I'm just like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm Gucci. But then when I see everything in action, then I'm going to be like, okay, I'm nervous. Now it's time to start freaking out. But till then, or right now, I'm whatever. I need to take care of my health. I need to take it easy here. The surgery, that's for tomorrow. <laughs> <coughs> but we were able to get me a couple shirts to help me with the port. Let's show you what I mean. So Paul got me these shirts for my port surgery. He bought me like three. Yep. I bought these because they are buttoned up so she doesn't have to lift her arms above her head to put a shirt on or anything. It's just a lot easier since it's buttoned up. They're nice long PJs. Very you gonna wear it? <laughs> Pretty much. There you go. <laughs> but um, very soft. Got them. So now she has three of them, so that she doesn't have to lift her arms up and be a little mm -hmm. more, a lot more comfortable, less pain, which is what we want. So that would be helpful for a port surgery. You're welcome. Thank you. So guys, the fireworks for Disney are about to go off, so we're gonna go check that out. So. Adieu and good night.